everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i have my monthly daily charm haul so i do have some new goodies from daily charm that i'm going to be showing in today's video and then of course i will also be doing a nail set using items from daily charm so let's just jump right in and unbox all of these new products so this is a 200 dollars pr daily charm haul but i was able to pick out all of these products myself i do want to give a big thank you to daily charm for these amazing goodies i also want to let you you all know that I will be linking these items down below in the description box. I do also have a discount code with Daily Charm. That code is nailed by Brandy. You can use that to save some coins on the Daily Charm website and you can also shop through my affiliate link if there is a greater discount available. So the first thing that we have is just a little thank you card and also it does have like a little photo of a nail look using items from Daily Charm and this is just their thank you card. The next item that I picked out are some of their brand new nail sleeves. So let me go ahead and open these up. So recently Daily Charm did just have a big launch of a bunch of new items and one of those things that launched are some new like nail sleeves. You can use these on your clients. It does come in a set so you get two um, like sleeves and these are really nice. They're just a nice little cuff where you can put it on and it will just really elevate your nail photos. Um, even if you're not doing clients, you can get these for yourself so you can take cuter nail fees. And I just thought these were super cute. I also like how with this one you can wear it like facing this way or you can also wear it like this way so these are really cute I love the ruffle and like the little fringe these are going to be so adorable I also did get another sleeve so let me open these ones up these sleeves also come in a pack of two and these ones are really cute they also do have velcro so they are adjustable these ones these are just more of like an elastic type but these ones here these ones are velcro and these are so cute I love like the way that it's like two materials there's this more of like a sheer material and then we have the little pearls with the gold very pretty and I also picked out these ones I thought these were super cute with the bows um, I did pick out all white but they also have I believe a pink and then two black ones and I think they were also talking about on a daily charm live about launching some different ones I would absolutely love to see a denim sleeve but these are all so cute I also really like how they come in a pack of two that way if you are using these on clients of course they're gonna have both of their nails done so you can put the sleeves on both of their hands very cute sleeves and I do have um, some other sleeves that I've gotten before from another brand and I really like using them and I think these ones are just super cute I also like how it's more of just like a little cuff that way it's a little bit more comfortable to wear even if you have on long sleeves you are still able to wear this like little cuff the next item that I picked out are some little charms and this is another one of their new released items so there is like a coquette nail trend going around. So they launched these super cute little bow charms and I did pick them up in the gold color and also the silver, just because you never know what nail set your theme is going to be on, if it's gonna be more gold themed or silver. So I decided to just pick up both of these and I think these are so adorable. They're nice and dainty and just a very small bow charm, which I absolutely love. The next item that I picked up are some more of these reusable um, like little palettes. This does come with a lot. Recently I've been using these. Absolutely love them. I think I got them in my last haul. I've been using them since I got them. Love them so much so I just decided to pick up another pack of these just because I feel like they are very useful. You can use these for a lot of different things. It's just like almost like a little pad like a sticky note pad but it isn't paper it does have like um like waxed or like a laminated surface if you want to say and these are really nice you can mix colors on here you can just put out the colors that you're using for your nail art and then it's easily just able to be thrown away i also picked out some stickers usually in my daily charm hauls i have a few more stickers but the reason for that you'll see in a second here but i still wanted to pick up a few stickers so i got these ones which are very pretty and they're like pressed 
less dried flowers, but they're stickers. And I thought that was super cool because I loved the dry flower look, but sometimes it can be a little time consuming. So I thought these stickers would be perfect for that. And then I also picked out these ones. I wasn't paying attention that they were 5D. Personally, I'm not a big fan of embossed stickers, so I'm not sure if I'll end up using these or not. They are absolutely adorable, but like I said, I just wasn't really paying attention and I'm not a huge fan of like 5D, 3D, or embossed stickers just because I don't like how thick they are, but these are still very cute. And this here is the reason why I didn't get a bunch of nail art stickers this time around. I've been debating whether or not to pick these up and I finally did it this time. I decided I'm just gonna pick up the entire collection. So these are the Daily Charm Nail Art Ink Micro Pens and it is a selection of rainbow colors. We have red, orange, yellow, green, a light blue, dark blue, purple, and a pink. And I have used these pens before but then they recently launched this entire rainbow collection and I just I wanted to pick them up so badly I probably won't use these in today's video because I do have another item that I want to use in today's video but let me know if you guys want me to try these out in an upcoming video I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet but I've been seeing a lot of people use these and saying that writing on nails drawing on nails has been a game changer ever since they started using like um nail art pens so I'm very excited for this and that's the reason why I didn't get a bunch of stickers this time around just because I did end up deciding on picking up this entire micro pen nail art ink collection. The next three items that I have are three brand new charm gels and I am so excited to show you guys these colors. So the first one we have is C09 Moon Cat and this is a brand new cat eye gel polish and this one is similar to their other silver um, cat eye gel whiskers but this one is a lot more silkier so pretty it is that silver cat eye so it's perfect for like um, using like a jelly gel polish and putting a jelly color over top their tinted glass collection would pair perfectly with this gel polish but this is a new silk cat eye it's definitely a lot more silkier than their other previous released cat eye gel polishes and i just absolutely love this color Color so much. The next one is D13 Glowy and this is a glow in the dark gel polish and it's actually more of like a glow in the dark topper because it's like almost like a milky white. It's very um, comparable to their um, milk bath gel polish but it does glow in the dark and I think that is so cool. Um, I did see them do a look with this color and then like a chrome over top. So beautiful and it glows in the dark which is super fun. I think this would look really nice on my toenails. I think glow in the dark toenails for summer is very fun. And the last gel polish is G08 Gilded and this is actually like a gold foil glitter topper. So if you've ever used gold foil, you know how difficult it can be to get those like little pieces to stick to the nail. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be a game changer because as you can see in here, there are just pieces of gold foil. I would also love to see them come out with a silver one, just so again, so you can have that silver or the gold depending if you're a gold a gold girly or a silver girly but this is so fun I've never seen a gel polish like this before so I think this is very unique and also if you like gold foil this is probably going to be a game changer for you because the gold foil pieces is already in a clear gel and this is just going to be a very easy glitter topper to use and the last item is this blooming gel. This is just, you can use for if you want to create a marble on your nails or like a tie dye effect. And I haven't tried the Daily Charm Blooming Gel yet, so I decided that I would go ahead and pick this product up. You can see on the back here, it does show the directions. Also, it does have the ingredients, but the directions, I love how their directions are on the back of their like um, essential products. That way it's very easy to follow and you can see the curing time. But I am really excited to try this out. I've been loving like Blooming Gel with like tie-dye effects and I haven't tried this Blooming Gel from Daily Charm yet. 
yet, so this is super exciting. So I know I said that Blooming Gel was the last product, and technically it is the last product for that 200 Daily Charm haul, but I also have a cuticle oil collection that I actually won. I was watching a Daily Charm live and they did this giveaway where it was kind of like an Easter egg hunt type of giveaway. I'm sure if you guys pop on their lives, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but basically they hit a code and you had to find the code and then you could make a purchase using that code and only pay for shipping. So I was able to find the code. A bunch of other people also found the code. It was kind of like an April Fool thing. Super fun. If you aren't watching the Daily Charm lives, 100% recommend it. They're always giving sneak peeks or giveaways. But anyways, I decided that I would just pick up the entire cuticle oil ruler collection. I love these cuticle oils so much. Um, they all smell so good. And I've been using these in my videos. I do already have the entire collection, but I've been using them so often that they're eventually going to run out. So I decided that this would be a good way to use the giveaway code was just to pick up an entire collection because these are really nice. They are two in one and they also are very convenient to apply. They have like a like a roller ball on them. So I love these. I've, you can also, these are great to throw in like a backpack or a purse. It also does really make a good gift because they are a two-in-one. So you can even rub them on your wrist to create like almost like a perfume. And of course, nourishing your cuticles with cuticle oil is very important. So that's what I did decide to pick up with that code is just an, a brand new pack collection of their cuticle oil rollers just because I do love these so much. So that was everything from today's Daily Charm haul video. I'm now going to jump in and do my nails and I have decided that I'm going to be using the best extension system, which is the Charm Gel extension system. And I've decided that I'm going to use their oval and extra long. These are quite oval, so I am going to turn them more into an extra long almond shape. I have done this before and I loved the outcome. So I'm going to be using these nail tips and just changing the oval into more of an almond. And then I will also be prepping my nails using their prepping kit. This is their three step system. Step number one, two, and three. And then also we do have the extension tips. This is my absolute favorite extension system. I have said that so many times before and I just really do love this system. So let's go ahead, jump in and do some nail prep. So to start off with prepping my natural nails, I always like to go in with a cuticle pusher. I feel like pushing back your cuticle, removing any of your dead cuticle from your natural, natural nail plate is one of the most crucial steps. So I'm going to go in, push back my cuticles, and then I'm also going to use the opposite end of this to help just scrape up any of the dead cuticle that I can scrape up with this tool. I am gonna go in with my e-file and I have this mini diamond drill bit here. I love this drill bit, especially for removing cuticle. So I'm just gonna go in with a very low speed and just take this around and again, just try to get up that cuticle from my natural nail plate.
I was really able to get up a lot more of that growth with the drill bit. Then I'm also going to take this cuticle ball bit and again, just go around the cuticle. I really like this one because if you are a beginner and you're scared to use the cuticle nippers, this one can be super helpful because you can take it up on your skin because it is a safety bit and um, you aren't going to like cut or burn yourself. You can just help get up any of that dead skin around your nail plate. I am now going to take a buffer to gently remove the shine from my natural nails. You can also use an e-file with a sanding band to do this. I'm just going to use a buffer though just because I want to do this just very gently and just remove the natural shine from my nail plate. After I'm finished with that step, I'm now just going to take a dust brush and I put on a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to use this to brush away all of the dust. The rubbing alcohol also helps to dehydrate your natural nail plate. So if you don't have the prep steps, you can also use like an alcohol pad or rubbing alcohol and it will help remove like the oils from your natural nail plate. So now I'm taking step number one. This is the dehydrating primer and I'm going to apply a coat of this to all of the nails. This is going to act as my dehydrator and it's going to again just dehydrate my natural nail remove any excess oils. I'm now going to go in with step number two which is the no lifting bonder and I'm going to actually go in with two coats of this. This is going to prime my natural nails and allow for a better adhesion. If you struggle with lifting, I definitely recommend using two coats. You can try with just one and see if your nails last as long as you want them to. But generally, when I'm doing my toenails, I will always just go in with two coats just for that extra like bond and just to kind of have a little bit more of like something on my nails that will help them just stay a little bit longer. So I did go in with two coats of that. Those products are air dry. So now I'm ready to apply my base coat. For my base coat, you can use the step number three, the extension gel. I personally just don't really like using this product as my base coat. I like keeping this product just to apply my like actual full cover or gel extensions. I like using the five in one strengthening gel. This is also from Daily Charm. It can be purchased. It isn't in the extension system, but it can be purchased separately. And personally, I just really like using this as my base coat. So I'm going to go in with an even coat of this on all of the nails. Now, of course, for your base coat, you can also just use a regular base coat. But I feel like with this strengthening gel, especially if you're applying gel extensions to help your nail growth, this is really going to help with that. It's going to just add a little extra strength to your nails when I'm doing my toenails and doing gel extensions on them. I like going in with a layer of this 5-in-1 strengthening gel just because I feel like it helps so my toenails aren't super brittle. So after I applied this to all of the nails, I'm then just going to do a 30 second cure because this product is gel and I will need to cure it. So now that my nails are all prepped, I am ready to apply the nail tips. I did go ahead and size them out off camera. I just made sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. And again, I am just using the Daily Charm Charm Gel Extension Tips in the extra long oval. And then like I mentioned, I'm going to be turning this oval into more of an almond nail shape. 
I also do have my little flash cure light and this is also from Daily Charm and this is what I'm going to be using to flash cure the nail tips in place. And then to apply the nail tips, I will be using step number three, which is the nail tip extension gel. To apply these, I'm going to do the same process as I always would by taking my extension gel and just applying that into the nail tip. I like to paint it on where I estimate my natural nail to be. I'll then add a little extra product before applying the nail tip. I will turn the nail lamp on and then I will start at the cuticle area but not on it and then just slowly lower it until the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail. I will then hold that nail tip in place and do my flash cure. I generally do a 20 to 30 second flash cure and then I will just repeat the process to all of the other nails. After I do have them all applied, I will go into my large nail lamp and do a full 30 second cure. Applying these nail tips is super easy, especially with this step number three extension gel. I personally do prefer a extension gel or to apply nail tips using a glue gel in a bottle. That's just my personal preference. Yes, I do still like solid glue gel, but I just think sometimes it can be easier just to use a glue gel in a bottle. And with this extension gel, I feel like it is the perfect consistency. It is a very thick consistency, so it doesn't really flood your cuticle. It's a lot easier to get used to using. Um, it's not really runny, so I do really favor this one and that is one reason why I do absolutely love this system and think that it is one of the best extension systems. Now that I have the nail tips all applied and fully cured, I am going to go in with my shaping and filing. And again, I just want to turn these into a little bit more of an almond looking shape, just really filing in the sides and just making the oval a little bit more almond shape. So I am going to start with a hand file and just crisp up the nail shape. I'm also going to take my e-file with my 5-in-1 drill bit to go around the cuticle to help seal in the cuticle and also remove any spillage. Then I'm going to take my buffer to remove the shine from the nail tips.
After I'm all finished filing and buffing, I'm just going to take a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. Now that I have my nails all applied and all filed, I am ready to start doing my nail design. And I'm sure you guys could have guessed it. I have decided to use the brand new cat eye gel called Moon Cat. I just have been really loving the looks with this. And I actually saw Daily Charm do kind of like a magical magnet um, abstract cat eye nail set. I will pop that video up on screen and I'm going to be trying to attempting to do that in today's video. I have used this magical magnet set in another video to do an abstract cat eye nail look and I had so much fun doing it and I talked about wanting to do it again. So I'm going to be trying that today and I'll be using the Moon Cat gel polish and then I will probably also go on top like how they did in their video using one of their tinted glass gels. I really loved the outcome of their set and I really want to try this myself. So I am going to start with a layer of the Moon Cat Cat Eye and for all of the nails I am going to be trying to get a different magnetic effect. So this is the first magnetic placement that I will be using almost like a T shape and like I said I'm going to go in with a layer of the Cat Eye Gel and I'm not sure if I should bring out like use the magnet on the sides of the nail. I'm going to try it like this first. I may honestly go in with a layer on all of the nails first, but I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to play with this nail first and see what I need to do. So I'm going to start off with just a layer of this cat eye gel and look at how beautiful that color is. So gorgeous, very silky looking. Absolutely love that. And I'm just going to go in with this and then I'm going to take the Ninja Star Magnet. I'm going to bring out, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful, stunning. And I think I'm gonna honestly have to go in with a layer on all of the nails. I don't know yet. Yeah, I think I am. So before doing anything, I'm going to take a layer of this cat eye gel and apply it to all of the nails. And then before curing, I will use the rectangular magnet on that Ninja Star and I will demagnetize the cat eye gel. And this is just going to act as a base. That way I can just have an added layer to this gel just to make it be a little bit more shimmery and pigmented. That way the, um, like when I go in with the effects, it's just going to stand out a little bit better. You necessarily don't need to do this, but like I said, I just feel like it's going to stand out a little bit better. So I'm going to go in with a layer of this cat eye gel to all of the nails. Then before curing, I will demagnetize the gel using the long rectangular magnet from the Ninja Star. And then I will cure for 30 seconds and then I'll come back and I will use the magical magnet set to create those abstract cat eye effects. Okay, so now that I have that cat eye base on the nails, this is just demagnetized and cured. I'm now ready to go in with the magical magnet set and create those different cat eye effects. So I will be starting with this T shape and I'm going to first start off with going in with just a layer of the cat eye gel polish. I also cannot get over how gorgeous this color is. I believe they are releasing an entire collection of these like silky cat eye gel polishes and I am so excited because this color is so gorgeous. So I just added a layer to the entire nail. Then I'm going to go in with the cylinder magnet and again just bring out the gel on the sides and you can really see that just brings out all of the glitters, so stunning. Then I'm going to take this T-shape and just hover it over top of the nail. And I'm just going to hold it there for a couple of seconds 
Ooh, look at that. So pretty. I'm now going to cure. Here is the first nail. I really like that effect. I'm now going to go in with the magnets like this, and this will be the second placement, and I'm just going to repeat that same process. And here is the finished look after I'm all finished with the magnets. I feel like it is a little bit hard to see, but I think once I have that tinted glass on top of the nails, it will make it a little bit more vibrant. I just feel like because this is such a silky cat eye gel polish, it does make the magnetic effect a little hard to see. I think it is picking up okay on camera. In person, it looks really good. I am so happy with the result. So I have these two tinted tinted glass gels. I don't know if I want to do a vertical ombre like in the video or not. I think I may try that. I have this one which is more of like an aqua or teal color and then this one is a blue. I may honestly just want to do this color because this color is so stunning. I love this one so much. Let me see what it would look like. Oh so pretty. I think I do just want to do this color. I don't know though, it's so hard to decide. Maybe let me try to do a vertical ombre and see how that looks and then I will decide from there. Decisions, decisions, so hard to figure out what I want to do. Oh, that is so pretty. So pretty, yes, I'm going to do the vertical ombre. That These two colors look so nice together. You guys know my favorite color is blue and like a teal blue, so pretty, look at that. That is so gorgeous. I am going to do this for all of the nails just to create that vertical ombre look. And like I said, that really just makes that cat eye pop.
That vertical ombre did turn out super pretty. I also like how it kind of blended into almost one color. I feel like in person, you can see the two colors a little bit better, but on camera, it kind of is just picking up one color. Either way, I think it is so pretty. If you do want a more like intense vertical ombre using the tinted glass gels, it would be better to use like two completely different colors. A blue and a purple maybe would look nice or even like a blue and a pink that would definitely stand out but I really love this I think this turned out so gorgeous I am now going to go in with a layer of top coat I'm going to apply this to all of the nails and then I will cure for 30 seconds So off camera, I did go in and do my thumbnail. And for this nail, this was the magnet placement that I did use. And honestly, this may be my favorite nail. I really like that. I think that turned out so pretty, but all of the other nails also look very, very pretty. I just feel like I like this one the best because you can see it a lot easier. I feel like for the other ones, they are a little bit harder to see, but again, um, depending on what cat eye gel polish you use, it will also play a big role in how the effects look because this cat eye gel was so silky. I feel like that's the reason why it isn't like popping as much as if I were to use whiskers. Um, I would absolutely love to use this cat eye gel for another nail look to really get that beautiful silky look. But now that I'm all finished, I am going to go in with my cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of the nails. I feel like it does pick up on camera better if I hold my hand this way, but I also want to put on this little nail sleeve. That way we can really just top off the whole nail look and make it look a little bit cuter. And look at how cute that is. I love this sleeve. It's very cute. These nails are long, so it's a little hard for me to show the sleeve and the nails at the same time but I absolutely love how these turned out. I think this is so cute. And with this magical magnet set, you can literally do so many different nail looks. Um, I'm not the happiest with how this turned out. I think it does look very cute, but I feel like I did kind of, um, I don't know how to put it. Like, I feel like the Moon Cat gel polish could look a lot better on its own and I could create a better look with it, if that makes sense. I just feel like I kind of cut it off a little bit because I don't think that this set really does justice for how beautiful that Moon Cat Cat Eye Gel Polish is, just because this doesn't really show the silky effect or anything like like that way if that makes sense I'm sorry that kind of it's kind of just me gabbing on here but I do really like these nails I just feel like with moon cat I could create a much prettier look to really showcase how beautiful that gel is just because I don't feel this look really does any justice for how beautiful it is but either way, I am still happy with how these nails turned out. I also love this sleeve. I will be linking these products that I showed in today's video and also the products that I use down below in the description box in case you guys want to pick anything up for yourselves. But here is the finishing look of these nails. I feel like another thing with all of the lights and through the camera, it really isn't picking up how it looks in person. So I may try to go in some low lighting just to try to get some better shots for you guys because I feel like truly on camera, it does not do justice for this nail set. I feel like the way I did this nail set too, it doesn't really give justice for that Moon Cat gel polish. If I put my hands like this, it's like the camera barely picks up anything, but I am going to try to get some better shots for you guys just so you can really see how beautiful this cat eye gel polish is. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.